guys and welcome to my channel i'm tiana if this is your first time here and if it is i hope you consider subscribing if you like anything dealing with beauty health hair and fashion this is the channel for you in today's video i wanted to show you guys some items that i picked up for the summer two of the three being sandals so i wanted to show you guys some sandals i picked up before i wear them all of these items are true unboxings because i have not worn them but yeah so if you guys are interested in that make sure you guys stay tuned that I wanted to show you guys are from my beloved Fendi. Y'all know I love me some Fendi. So I needed sandals in black, white, and brown. The typical, you know, the three standard colors that pretty much go with any outfit. I have had my eyes on these for a while. I'm unboxing it. I should probably talk and show you guys while I'm doing that. But yeah, I've had my eyes on these for some time and I have seen them go on sale. So I've been keeping my eyes open. Oh, we have some dust bags here it looks like they gave me two let me go ahead and open it all three of these pieces i'm going to show you i did get all three of them on sale but i'll still tell you like what the retail price is for each of them these run for 690 690 dollars but i was able to get them for like four something um i don't remember the exact price because i got them like a little while ago um but these are the sandals they say fendi on the insole right here and then this it's got the baguette plaque logo here so these are called the baguette slides let me pull both of them out so you can see what they look like so these are the slides they are gorgeous i love the way they look like i said brand new i have not worn them but yeah these are both in a size 39 and they fit me perfectly i tend to be a 39 when it comes to like the italian size and i am a u.s eight and a half sometimes i can get away with an eight though depends on the shoe so i tried to look up as many reviews as i could on these shoes before i purchased them and i want to say maybe i came across three good reviews but all three reviews said that these were some of the most comfortable slides that they owned and that pretty much sold me because i was back and forth you never know sometimes a shoe can look comfortable and it's really not comfortable once you get to walking in it like you just never unsuspecting things on the shoe like this you would think wouldn't affect the, sh the foot at all but i mean you just never know all three people said that these shoes were very comfortable for them and that they loved them so much they purchased them in other colors so when i tried this on i found it to be so soft and so comfortable and i was really impressed these are made of calf leather 100 percent like from here to the strap so it's very soft and i really like that about this i was kind of impressed by this because i as soon as i tried it on, i was like oh i could be in these for hours and i do plan on doing a lot of walking coming up so i'm gonna see how these fare out um, when it comes to that and they're black so they're gonna go with a lot of a lot of things i know i just showed you guys a fendi top that i bought so these could easily go with that i love the way these look i'll try them on so, so you can see what they look like but i love these i can see why people would want to get more colors maybe in the future if they come out with a color that i like i would i would consider buying another pair but i would have to come back at a later time to give you guys like a true review on my opinion on how well these work for me but just like our first impressions i am impressed the baguette slide absolutely love them i'm surprised i got two dust bags because they're so thin i feel like both could oh man i just got my lipstick on this but i feel like both could fit in one bag i don't know so let's move on to the next pair so next up we do have a pair of sandals from Celine. So I'm actually particularly excited about this because this is my first Celine item period. Like I have been looking into this brand. It's a very classy brand. I, and I'm starting to, you know, move into that direction. I really like everything that I've seen from Celine, from their sunglasses um, to their sandals. They have a lot of good items. I really like, I like the brand. So i'm interested in seeing how these sandals work out for me so let me go ahead and unbox these for you they each come in a dust bag these were already put inside of the dust bags so this is the shoe this is the white sandal that i was referring to so let me take this styrofoam off of the shoe so as you can see it is a thong sandal white thong sandal also calfskin leather i'll take this black paper out you can see the inside love the color of this i like this tan color of the leather 
um i like the fact that it's white like you know it can go with a lot of things this is the logo i like the size of the logo i like the size of this band right here i also like that it has the strap behind the ankle to keep your foot secure because let me tell you i purchased the saint laurent pair of sandals it did not work out so i returned those because i like i said i wanted a brown pair of sandals too and I tried to go for these sandals, but they didn't stay on the foot that well whenever I tried to walk. The logo kept kind of like poking up and I, it just was a, not a comfortable feeling. So very happy that I got these and happy that it comes with that ankle strap. Maybe if the Saint Laurent he, um, sandals had an ankle strap, it would probably keep that logo from popping up like that. But that, yeah, that was just an uncomfortable experience. I was like, I'm not paying that much for a shoe and it's not walking for me so i really like these let me pull out the other pair so you can see what they look like together i feel like both of these are like perfect for summer yeah these are very understated i mean i don't know how many people know of the celine logo but if this is like to me if you know you know um if not it just looks like you know some kind of hardware decor but yeah, maybe it's just me because I'm just starting to get into Celine. I think these run for 900 if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check because I mean, I want a lot of y'all. Yep, they run for $900. They are called the Olympia Triumph, T R I O M P H E. So, Triumph Thong and Capskin White. They have a true to size fit, it says, and I can attest to that. These really are true to size. I got um, a size 39. Like I said, I'm pretty much a 39 when it comes to the European size. The specs on the website about this shoe it says that 100% calfskin lining round toe shape large metal triumph on the upper band it's got the adjustable buckle slightly padded leather insoles so hopefully this won't hurt my foot after some time and then it's got the rubber outsole and yeah it says made in Italy shoes have a normal fit and like I said I can attest the serial number is right here on the inside of both shoes this also comes in other colors I've seen them in brown and maybe it comes in black too I don't know but I definitely have seen them in like the tan color because I'm like dang do I want to get these in tan too or do I want to go with another shoe for the brown because I do still need a brown sandal I'll have to see and if I do purchase it I think I'm going to purchase it overseas in Italy or France I do have like a running list of things that I want to uh buy over there it's just so I don't get over there and act crazy I need to stay on track you know so I made myself a list and I'm not straying from it uh, but yeah so let's move on to the last piece the last item that I have is by Dior. I don't know if you can see that, but it's Dior. And y'all, it's not a pair of shoes. This is also something that I have been wanting for years. And sometimes I see something and it will take me like a year or two to get it, but I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna stalk it until it goes on sale. I mean, I have missed out on some items because of that, but that's another video. But yeah, anyway, so this is an all black visor it just says christian dior on the front it's black and then if i turn it around the band says christian dior now this i want to say this also runs for like 890 dollars it's gorgeous and like i said i've wanted this i've wanted this for years i've seen this go on sale too um, the cheapest that I've seen it go on sale is $299 and I wish I would have got it at that time uh, but what I got it for is not too far off of that so I'm not mad at this but um one thing about me is I I know like sunglasses can provide a look or whatever but I don't think we should be wearing sunglasses all the time I've really been wanting a visor because I want the sun on my head and I want the sun in my eyes this is just like me going into like that health space but anyways so I've been wanting a visor I want like a um like a straw hat visor I want I want visors in different colors this is like my first official <laughs> visor so I'm gonna get it in black because I know like I have black bathing suits outfits that come in black or whatever I honestly am so excited about this piece like it's it's been something I've been looking at for a while. This also comes in different colors. I've seen it like in a pinkish beige color. This is also one of them, I want to say if you know, you know pieces because it doesn't scream Christian Dior on it. It doesn't, I mean, you have to really like be looking for for you to know what it is. Unless you're like obviously familiar with like the shape and the look of everything. But yeah, I don't, I don't want to like fully try it on because I do have like makeup. I don't want to get makeup on it, but let me just, all right. I would also have to like do some adjusting to it because I feel like it's a little loose. Yeah, I want it to be like tight, form-fitting. 
I mean, not too tight, but you know, not where I'm getting a headache, but I'm just being like very fragile with it right now because I don't want to get it messed up. I got me a visor, y'all, perfect for the summertime. If you get like other colors, it'll be more obvious that it's Christian Dior because the colors will make the name, the logo stand out, but this is black on black, so it's gonna be hard to detect. But yeah, I am so happy that I got this. That is pretty much all I have for you guys in this video. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far through the video. Let me know what you guys think about each of these items in the comments below i look forward to reading your comments other than that make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already and more unboxings to come i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys